सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ लीनियर मोमेंटम सो लीनियर मोमेंटम क्वांटिफाइज द मास विच इज इन अ लीनियर मोशन दैट इज मास टाइम्स द वेलोसिटी एंड दिस इज द मोमेंटम सो पी बार इज इक्वल टू एम वी बार सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट नाउ इट इज टाइम टू टॉक अबाउट एंगुलर मोमेंटम सो एज द नेम सजेस्ट दिस हैज टू बी रिलेटेड विद द एंगुलर मोशन so let's see how to quantify this angular motion suppose i have a reference frame like this and this is x y and z and this is my origin so suppose a particle is there at a distance r bar or a displacement r bar from the origin then the angular momentum of this particle is given by l bar is equal to r bar cross p bar so here l bar denotes the angular momentum so it is a angular equivalent of linear momentum so it is the amount of mass or the quantification of mass in a angular motion okay so this is l bar is equal to r bar cross p bar so this is the definition of angular momentum angular momentum now what is torque in this case so this angular momentum is um, analog of linear momentum which is in um, linear motion but similarly for the analog of force there is a torque in rotational motion so that is torque is given by n bar like this n so i am using this notation n because in goldstein it is used as n only so here n bar is defined as r bar cross f bar so f bar is the rate of change of momentum of the particle now if you look at dl bar by dt if i look at dl bar by dt what i get is d by dt of r bar cross p bar so now what is this this is dl bar by dt is equal to d r bar by dt cross p bar i am applying the chain rule so this is uh sorry this is r bar cross dp bar by dt so now what is this dr bar by dt dr by dr bar by dt will be v bar cross m v bar i am writing momentum as m v bar plus r bar cross dp bar by dt is the rate of change of momentum and hence it is a force so this is f bar now look at this what is this v bar cross m v bar must be zero right because v bar and v bar both are same vectors and the sign the angle of the uh, angle of angle between these two vectors will be zero and hence the sign zero is zero so this will be zero so what i remain with is r bar cross f bar but we have already defined that r bar cross f bar is our torque that is n bar okay so this is n bar is equal to dl bar by dt so this leads us to the conservation theorem of lean or uh, angular momentum so what does it say if total external torque okay if total external torque is zero then the angular momentum l bar is conserved angular momentum l bar is conserved so when there is no torque the angular momentum l bar will remain same